ugly tonight. Okay, so I am making stuffed acorn squash. That's gonna be the goal tonight. I have to do, I have to do it in parts. So right now, the squash is in the oven cooking. That's gotta bake for quite a while. So in here is, I can't keep it open too long, but in here's the acorn squash. So you see how it's kind of sliced in half. I, all you do is you scoop out the seeds. You sprinkle a little olive oil, or you can use coconut oil. I used olive oil tonight. Salt, pepper, and then I use this, this organic no salt seasoning, which is basically a whole bunch of organic spices, but no salt from Kirkland, which is Costco. I mean, I you can tell I use this all the time. Salt and pepper, which again, the salt and pepper, oops. Woo, dropped it. The salt and pepper I get from Costco too. I get them in the big containers. This recipe normally takes breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese, okay? I'm actually changing it up a little bit. I'm actually gonna be using this gluten-free stuffing mix. I'm actually gonna be making this. This was the, and I know it's chicken flavor, but I'm using turkey sausage. So the flavorings are still gonna be very similar and I think they're gonna meld nice. So I'm gonna be using this stuffing mix, not all of it, part of it, with my other flavorings that I have here. And then we're gonna stuff it when all that's done and put it back in. There. First thing I have to do though, guys, is I have to get the sausage out and I have to like take it out of the casings. So I purchased the, this is Gianelli. Gianelli brand, which actually Gianelli is a local brand to New York State, but any type of mild Italian, and I have, you don't have to use turkey sausage, but it's that's just my preference. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like ooze this stuff out. I don't think you guys wanna see me oozing sausages, do you? I just gotta wash my hands first. Nah, okay, good, good, you guys don't wanna, you guys don't wanna see it. Okay, hands are washed. And I'm just doing the gross part with literally taking the sausage out of the casing. What candle am I burning? <laughs> that is uh, lemon limoncello. Okay, so here's the meat. <laughs> um, the next step, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm actually gonna come over here. I'm gonna turn on my skillet. Now this is gonna take a while to heat up before I actually put anything in it, but I wanted to talk to you guys about this for a few minutes. This is a stainless steel pan. And if, for those of you who have never cooked in stainless steel, there is a method to the madness. There is a way that you can heat this up so that nothing sticks. And the name of that game is patience, which means I'm putting, if you can see the um, bar here is just between six and seven. So it's kind of like a little bit above halfway. We're gonna let this heat up for literally probably 10 minutes, and then we're gonna test it to see if it's ready to cook on. So it's patience is the game when it comes to working with stainless steel. This is what is called the mercury ball test, but this is for stainless steel pans. What you do is once you think it's come to temperature, you're gonna take just a little bit of water, and we're going to put it in the center of the pan. Okay. So you see how that, so you see how that's coming up to a ball? Look at that. See, I waited 10 minutes. You see that perfect little ball? How cool is that? That is called the mercury ball test for stainless steel. So what this does, this basically creates a heat barrier so that when you put oil in it, you know that there's gonna be a barrier and it will keep things from sticking as much, especially protein. As so we're gonna start moving on with putting a little bit of olive oil in here. We're gonna start off with the celery. And the onions.
So we're just gonna let this kind of cook a few minutes. And then in the meantime, I'm just gonna make, this is a, a gluten-free stuffing mix we're gonna put in this other pan here. One and one half cups of water. So what I've done over here, okay, this has got one and one half cups of water and I'm gonna put a half a stick. This is my Kerry Gold Butter that I use that is from grass-fed cows. So a half a stick would be, you know, like that much of a chunk. So I'm gonna cut that off and we're gonna put that in. Keep this stirring. This is almost ready to add the, this is almost ready to add the sausage. Now we're gonna start cooking up this meat while that's going, so we're gonna put a little more olive oil in the center. And we're gonna put the turkey sausage in. Okay, we're gonna do some more salt, we do pepper. Gonna do some salt. And we're gonna do some of this, the organic no salt seasoning. Not too much guys, because remember the stuffing mix that I'm gonna be putting over here has flavoring in it too. And then we're gonna put in I have, I get these, um, have you guys ever seen these from, from Dorot? This crushed garlic that's like frozen. So I'm literally gonna take, which each one of these equals a, I gotta go to Trader Joe's and get more. Um, they sell them at Walmart. I got mine at Trader Joe's, so we're gonna put that in. And we're gonna get that mixed into the mix. I use that crushed garlic in a ton, ton of my recipes. We're gonna put in a cup of green apples. And the apples brings a nice sweetness to the stuffing. This is boiling, so we're gonna add the stuffing mix to it. And now I'm just, so this is the gluten-free stuffing that I'm trying from Aldi's. We're gonna let this kind of soak up for a while. And instead, instead of the stuffing, you could always use quinoa, you could use uh, brown rice, you could use just gluten-free breadcrumbs. If you're not gluten-free, you can use regular breadcrumbs. It's basically that tasty recipe that is the 55 second video that's on Facebook. I'm just changing it up a little bit for the stuff that I have in my house and the effect that I don't want gluten. One more little thing of olive oil. And now we're gonna mix the stuffing in. I think I'm gonna use like, let me try half of it. Okay, so I didn't end up using it all. There's like a little bit of stuffing left. Last ingredient is the, this is about a half a cup, maybe a little bit more than a half a cup of shredded Romano cheese. Our true Romano cheese is from goat's milk. So that's just gonna add a nice little nuttiness to it, which goes perfect with the acorn squash. So now what I'm gonna do guys, is I'm literally gonna just pull this off. I'm gonna pull that off until the acorn squash cooks because the only thing left to do now is to stuff it and bake it for another like 20 minutes. Okay, this is doing pretty good. These are doing pretty good, so we're gonna stuff these now. Let me take this out. Yep. They look good. Okay, so now we're gonna stuff them.
Now we're gonna put this in for like another, oh, maybe like 20 minutes and get this stuff to kind of heat through a little bit more. There it is. Which one did I say was mine? Which one do I want? Do I want this big one? I think I want this one. Mmm. Oh. oh, yeah. That was really good. That was really good. <laughs> I don't mean to mukbang you guys at all. I gotta hit one more. Who's gonna, who's gonna try to make this? Oh my god, it's so good. You guys have a great day. Bye everyone.